When Hubble was launched in 1990, every astronomer knew it had an opportunity to make profound breakthroughs in science. A few realized its potential as a tool for inspiring people with awe for the universe. But could anyone have predicted how deeply Hubble would become embedded in popular culture? This is the Hubblecast, news and images from the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope. In many ways, the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope is the world's most sophisticated digital camera. Over the years, its photo album has featured many members of the cosmic family, ranging from baby stars to elderly galaxies. With all these amazing shots of space, it's easy to forget that Hubble is a superstar here on Earth too. Hubble, for many people, has become a byword for science. That's why this summer we asked you to send us your favorite examples of how Hubble has been used or abused in the daily life of us Earthlings. We liked some of your suggestions so much that we wanted to share them. Hubble snapped this glowing planetary nebula NGC 2818, ejected by a dying star more than 10,000 light years away. This scientific picture has also inspired art and design, for example, the striking electric guitar. The guitar isn't the only example of how the world of music has taken to Hubble's stunning imagery. There was also the cover of this CD. The picture isn't Andromeda, as the name of the album implies. It's actually part of the Carina Nebula, and it looks stunning here, photographed with Hubble's brand new WIF C3 camera. Hubble also provided the cover to Pearl Jam's 2000 album Binaural. This thought-provoking picture of the Hourglass Nebula has certainly made an impact, appearing also in the film Angels and Demons, on the cover of National Geographic and in the computer game Final Doom. Hubble gets under people's skin sometimes. No, not in tattoos, though we did see an intriguing Hubble tattoo among the entries. But Hubble's imagery has become so ubiquitous that it maybe influences us in ways we don't imagine. The logo of the Firefox browser, for example. Is it a fox running around the world? Well, to one person it isn't. Were the designers influenced by Hubble's iconic picture of the light echo around the star V838 Monocerotus? In the world of fashion, too, Hubble has made its mark. Hubble's photo of the Orion Nebula decorated the designer clothes in Ruffian's collection for autumn-winter 2010-11. Designed by Brian Walk and Claude Murray, they were inspired by depictions of the cosmos including Hubble photos of the Orion Nebula and Van Gogh's Starry Night. And in Second Life, one committed fan has turned Hubble photos, including NGC 3603 and the Cat's Eye Nebula, into this elaborate gown. The greatest entry of them all must be this one, My Hubble by artist Peter Hennessy, a life-sized replica of the Hubble Space Telescope, lovingly reproduced in wood. But the most touching tribute of all to Hubble is how it has become so completely synonymous with great astronomy that even astronomers use its pictures as a visual shorthand for the universe. To celebrate the 50th anniversary of the huge Lovell Telescope at Jodrell Bank Observatory, the University of Manchester projected what else? A Hubble video onto the radio telescope's huge dish, turning it for one night only into the biggest cinema in the world. A tribute to Jodrell Bank, but a tribute also to Hubble.
Now that you've caught up with Hubble, make sure to get the latest from the ground too. The ESOcast highlights the best of the European Southern Observatory and its powerful telescopes that observe from high in the Chilean Andes at the Southern Hemisphere's best-known sites for astronomical observations.